Wow, did I cut that close? Exactly 32 degrees, so the warm-up has arrived. This may be the last ride that I get a chance to do. But yeah, at least I got 32 degrees in. I think for the next few days, I'm out of luck. Starting mileage. Let me get it on here. 43, 417.5. I get that light out of it. 43, 417.5. Uh, what a hectic afternoon and evening yesterday. The PBC site went down. Now, the start of it was just scheduled maintenance, but as usually happens, it never goes as smoothly as you expect it to. And uh, as far as the polar bear challenge, we've experienced that uh, with the Ning site that we were on before. They decided to schedule some maintenance on their servers right in the middle of our event, which I know you can't always uh, accommodate all the users. It's just not possible. You have to uh, do the upgrades when they're necessary. A server is just like a computer and it runs on an operating system and just like there's uh, bugs and uh, security holes that need to be patched, there's also complete upgrades to the operating system that need to be done too. In fact, for servers it's a little more difficult because you're basically running people's website operating systems. Ours is called Oxwall, you also have PHP Motion, WordPress engines, there's a whole bunch of them, but uh, yeah, it's an operating system that has to run other operating systems, and you've got to make sure when you do your upgrade that it's compatible with all them, and guess what? It hardly ever is compatible with everybody. In fact, we had to, even after they got the upgrade done and our site came back on at 11 o'clock last night, we had to uh, screw around. I, sh I say we, it's not really we, all I do is just pass messages on that's my basic job but the uh, person that's running our site for us Brian had to do some tweaking with our site messaging software to get it to work with the new upgraded system but uh, a big thanks goes out to him he was in constant communication with me all the time this was happening from 3:30 to 11 we were communicating back and forth he uh, put in a rush ticket for us which I think seemed to have put us in the head of the line he said it would not be uh, untypical for them to wait till uh, the next morning to fix it so we got a rush order through so the hardware guys did their part Brian did his part and we're back up and running so uh, I think it's just something no matter what kind of a site and thank you for people I, I've had people volunteer to host the site in the future but um, also we have to be aware that there is nobody that's going to be a perfect host for our site everybody has to do the upgrades Everybody has to try to keep everything compatible and just like computers. Never runs perfect all the time, but we got her fixed. And because of the fact we use YouTube for the official times and where to post the vids and the site just basically is a uh, place to lump it all together. If the site should go down in the future or you have any problems, just continue on with your YouTube stuff as normal and you can post it and catch up on the site because we set the rules so that the YouTube posting is the official day. So even if we were to lose a server for an entire day, you post it the next day, the judges, the officials, everybody else can go and check it and see that you actually posted it on that day and we just take it from there. I mean... We also, one year, because the uh, guy doing the stats just wanted to take a Christmas break, we actually didn't uh, do anything for about a week. We just, uh, people post their videos, but nothing actually got judged or anything like that because he just wanted a break for a week for the Christmas holidays, and I don't blame him. That's absolutely fine. What's happening here? Uh, somebody's picking somebody up. Oh, got a money truck there. Wish he had a load for me for Christmas. Anyway, I'm going to stop in the office here. Gosh darn it. Uh. 
Ending mileage, 43419.1. 43419.1.